Top 10 Things to Do in Corfu The familiarity of certain European locations may be to blame for their underappreciation rather than the destination's relative popularity or aesthetic quality. Corfu is one of those places. Considering the top Corfu attractions are spread out around the island, this is particularly true. You really must visit this beautiful Greek island. There are hundreds of beautiful Greek islands in the Aegean and Ionian seas, some of which are real treasures like Santorini, Mykonos, and Samos. Old tourists should be amazed by this, but how on earth are they supposed to decide on just one island? I don't know the solution right now. The struggle is real when it comes to just choosing one island to visit. Hopefully, with this little video of the top 10 things you should do in Corfu, you might make a quick decision on the places you would like to see without getting confused because of the many touristy places there. Number 10. Rovinia Beach it's a tiny beach in the shape of a petal, nearly completely hemmed in by towering cliffs on both sides, the southernmost tip of which is home to a tiny but impressive cave. It's remote, so it's not overrun with tourists. It has fine stones and very little sand. The water is a gorgeous shade of turquoise, and the surrounding countryside is stunning. The icy streams from the Adriatic that reach these shores provide water that is crystal clear, quite cold and virtually frozen in Rovinia and across the entire area of Palio Castrizza, they drop off precipitously making this a great spot for scuba divers who want to take advantage of the rocks in the area. Therefore, someone needs to be cautious around kids. Daily, a canteen boat sails up to the shady spot near the cave where they sell ice cream and other refreshments at low costs. Number 9. Explore the old town of Corfu Although it's more like a very tiny town, Corfu city is nevertheless worth exploring on any trip to the island. Corfu's old town is a maze of pedestrian-friendly lanes and alleyways between Venetian and neoclassical houses painted pale yellow and orange and crowded tightly between two strongholds. Visit the archaeological museum and Casa Parlante a peculiar mansion from the 19th century with historical furnishings and animatronic figurines and take your time exploring the city's many streets and squares. The new fortress to the west and the old fortress to the east are both impressive fortifications with formidable defenses. The latter dates back to the 6th century and is connected to the city by a canal and ditch that are reached through a bridge. Corfu's library, housed in a former British barracks from the 19th century, may be found in the same complex as the temple-like church of St. George. The views of the city, the seashore, the Straits of Corfu, and mainland Greece from the highest walls are breathtaking. Number 8. Agios Gordios The little beach town of Agios Gordios may be reached from Corfu Airport in around 40 minutes. It's not a huge place, so it doesn't have that much of a packed beach resort vibe, but there are still plenty of places to eat and drink here. Many of the shops, hotels, and restaurants in the area have been in the same Greek family for generations, and many of the tourists you'll encounter have been coming to the area for just as long. Unmistakable evidence of a fantastic find. The sand is so fine and the water so clear that you can see for miles and miles. Over a few days, it can go from having moderate waves to having no waves at all. And okay, occasionally even larger waves. Even during the busiest time of the year, there is no shortage of sun loungers and many restaurants provide complimentary use of their loungers with the purchase of a beverage. Number 7. Glass Skywalk at the 7th Heaven 
Sunsets at the Seventh Heaven Cafe are among the most breathtaking in the area. This location is stunning and thoughtfully designed. It's really expensive and features a central bar with an hexagonal cross section. There are a few different tables and chair configurations dotted around the bar. You may also look down at the real beach from a viewing platform. Getting down there is going to take a while. There is a relaxed atmosphere here. Rumor has it that they have fantastic live music events there regularly. It has been brought to my attention that the venue has served as a host to weddings. To host your celebration in a venue so beautiful with such breathtaking views must be beyond words. Number 6. Kerasia Beach Kerasia Beach can be found in the fourth northeastern part of Corfu. It is a gorgeous pebble beach that is flanked by trees and offers fantastic views of the sea and neighboring Albania. It takes around an hour to drive slightly more than 30 kilometers to the state capital of Kerkira. Kerasia is a tranquil beach with a beach bar, tavern, and sunbed rental options. The end closest to the pub is the busier and more crowded one, while the other end is more peaceful and ideal for people who wish to lay out on a towel and unwind in relative solitude. Due to the lack of sand being driven up by the tide, the water at the Kerasia beach is very clear, making it perfect for snorkeling and swimming. Kerasia Beach is fantastic for nature lovers because of the area's verdant surroundings and the abundance of pleasant walking routes. Kerasia Beach is accessible by automobile and the parking area at the back of the beach usually has enough spots to accommodate a large number of visitors. You can also arrange a spot on one of the many boat tours that make a stop at this beach as part of your daily journey around the island. The communities of Kalami, Agio Stefanos, the one to the northeast and Avlaki are all within a 10 to 15 minute drive of Kerasia Beach. Number 5. Cassiope Castle Cassiope in the northeast of the island has developed from fishing village into a low-key resort with views across the Straits of Corfu to Albania. The urban core is located on the eastern coast of a tiny peninsula that is dotted with picturesque fishing arbors and pebble coves. Cassiope Castle, which rises in the middle of the peninsula, may have been built as early as the 6th century and has Byzantine roots. Before the arrival of the Venetians in the 14th century, it was one of three forts protecting Corfu. Despite its dilapidated condition, the castle's more than a kilometer of walls and 19 turrets surrounding a rectangular design make it an impressive sight. Number 4. Agios Georgius Agios Georgius Pagun is our favorite sandy beach in Corfu. Golden sands stretch out in a crescent shape with a rocky headlands on either end. As a result of its size, even at peak times you won't feel squished. There are both busy beach bars where you can rent sun loungers and quieter stretches where you can spread out your towel, although you'll need an umbrella because there's no cover. To get to Porto Timoni via water taxi or pedalo, head to Agios Georgios. Due to the base shelter, kayaking and stand-up paddle boarding are popular activities here, starting at 15 euros for an hour. The wind tends to pick up in the afternoon, so it's better to get out on the sea first thing in the morning. If you want to go snorkeling, the water is normally clear blue and there are a few fish in the area. Nevertheless, Porto di Moni is much better flat. 
San George Food Bar is our go-to beach hangout. Sun, bed and umbrella rentals in the high season cost 8 euros and you can get food and drinks delivered to your launch. We can't get enough of the Greek panini which consists of a pita filled with Greek salad and a few perfectly seasoned chips on the side. Number 3. Greek Night at Maestro Restaurant If you're looking for a great place to eat in the Akrabi district that serves authentic Greek food and Corfu's regional specialties, we recommend Maestro Restaurant Bar. The Greek restaurant serves lunch and dinner from May through September, and it's conveniently located on Akavari Beach, Exit 7 or Exit 8. In Akavari, in the Maestro restaurant, you may have some excellent seafood. In this scenario, we recommend the grilled octopus, fresh sardines marinated in olive oil, white wine and garlic, or simply grilled fish. If you're a fish lover, every Thursday is your opportunity at the Maestro Restaurant's Fish Special. Indeed, for the unbelievable price of 38 euros per pair, you may get a platter that contains mussels, fried squid, grilled octopus, fried sardines, grilled sea bream, Greek salad, and barbecue potatoes. Meat eaters can enjoy traditional corfiot dishes like kleftiko, lamb with vegetables, roasted in the oven, and homemade stuffed hamburgers at the Maestro restaurant in Akaravi. Live music and folk events take place here at Maestro every Tuesday night. The sunset is always a beautiful sight to see from your table, and the peaceful and romantic ambiance will make every meal here very unforgettable. Number 2. Barbati Beach For visitors to Corfu, Barbati is a must-see. The natural beauty of the Greek terrain and the dazzling Ionian Sea make this a vibrant and exciting destination. Barbati can be found on the island of Corfu's picturesque northeast coast, about 20 kilometers from Corfu town, the airport and the port. The town rests at the base of Corfu's tallest peak, Panta Crotor. The entire resort is aligned with a single road, Mount Pantocrator's olive grove covered slopes are particularly treacherous but they do provide a direct route to the water's edge. Barbati is known as the Corfiot village of contrasts because of the wide range of visitors it receives. Barbati Beach is a mile-long stretch of pebbly and shingle that has been recognized with the blue flag of the European community for its safe and sheltered swimming conditions, making it an ideal location for snorkeling. Umbrellas and sunbeds are at your disposal. Barbati is a lively area with all the necessary services of a vacation spot, including a public phone, post office, many bars and taverns, tourist stores, and mini markets. Recreational opportunities in and on the sea are available at the beach. Parking lots can be found all across the hamlet. Barbati is conveniently located on the main road so you can easily get a bus to Cassiope or Corfu town. Car rental is recommended for getting around town as many of the hotels are spread out among the hills and the area. It's also required if you plan on visiting any of the charming towns or pristine beaches in the region. And number one is La Grotta Beach. Paleo Castriza is home to La Grotta Beach. It's not a typical beach, but rather a little rocky bay. But it's a stunning location with deep emerald waters, perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and diving. In addition, there is content devoted to cliff diving. The sights from La Grotta are quite spectacular. 
The popular beach tavern La Grota serves drinks and light fare and is located directly over the sand. The pub maintains a rocky sun deck with sun loungers and parasols on wooden platforms. About 140 steps lead down to the sand at the beach. The bay is beautifully lit up at night, giving it the perfect setting for a nighttime cocktail. In any case, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, you should check out the natural wonder. There is a wide variety of Greek islands from which to pick. Corfu Island is the place to go if you're looking for a vacation full of breathtaking scenery, delicious food, cultural experiences, and luxurious lodging. Since Corfu is located near the European mainline, traveling here is very simple. Mm -hmm. 